Hi, it's Anthony Lewis here, the Medical Director at iSimulate. This video is an introduction to one of our new features in Reality360, our training management system, the TMS. This is a way where you can store all of the uh, reports that are generated during a simulation and a way of managing them as well. So let's jump into it and see what, what it does. So if you start off with control and tap to connect to a monitor, when you, uh, are, when you connect to that monitor, you're presented with a screen which asks you to enter some student information. So I'm going to insert here um, my simulate student. Put their number as uh, 12345 and the email address is info at iSimulate. Com. And then I can start with a scenario, let's say for example the Zoll X series here. And then I can press start. So I've just finished running my scenario, so I'm just going to press stop. And now I'm presented with our normal scenario review, which you can see all of the vital signs there in a graph and all of the checklist items and events that have happened. But this time I'm now going to press the menu button, exit to menu, and now I'm back to the uh, home screen and now I'm going to jump into the iSimulate TMS. This is the button in the top right hand corner. Now you can see the scenario that I've just run, it's in the top here. And what I'm immediately presented with is an overview. So this shows us the student name, the student number, email, and the times that the scenario started, finished, the duration, and so on. I can also see a summary of all of the checklist items that are presented there. The next uh, screen is the CPR screen. This shows me the uh, compressions that, that I've done and a nice summary diagram is shown with some graphical representation here. The event log shows me all of the moments that happened during the uh, actual scenario. So you can see I've checked off some checked patient, confirmed cardiac arrest, but it also picks up things such as when the DFib was actually used. Now if I press on PDF, it now shows me a uh, review of the scenario, not only with the checklist items, but also a graphical representation of the vital signs and the major events. The time is across the bottom and the uh, parameter numeric is vertical. Heart rate is shown as a green square. Saturations is shown as a blue circle. End tidal CO2 is shown as a vertical uh, bar um, at the bottom of the screen and the uh, millimetres of mercury will be on the left and kilopascals on the right. Blood pressure is shown also as a vertical bar but it's split into systolic and diastolic and where those two meet is the mean blood pressure. A shock is shown as a red vertical line with the energy and when CPR was done is shown as, a, as an orange shaded area. You could also print this out in, on a black and white printer and still be able to identify each of those parameters. The next page of the PDF is the summary of the CPR performance. And then the following pages are all of the uh, event logs as well. And I can share this by uh, pressing on the uh, share icon at the top. And that shows me how I can airdrop, message, mail and so on. So let's jump back to the TMS itself. And here we can see the scenario screen, which you've already had a look at, showing all the various scenarios that we've been running, and they're all saved here. You can click on one of these and have a look at them as we've just done. 
the second page is the students and this is where all the students that have been entered into the system are and again we can scroll through them. The launch pad is a really useful screen and here you have all the students listed down the left hand side but what we can do is we can drag and drop each one of these students over to the launch pad on the right hand side and here we are moving two across. Now in the top part of the screen you can see launch scenario so I can change this by tapping on change and then I can choose the scenario that I want these students to run. Let's pick cardiac arrest one. Now we're ready to launch so we tap on one of these students and this now opens up into the main control screen and we can run the scenario from here. At the end of the scenario we can go back to Launchpad and carry on with the next student. We can clear the Launchpad quite easily by pressing Clear Launchpad and we can add all the students to the Launchpad as well. So this is really useful when you're running a course with multiple students doing multiple scenarios. Finally the options is has the ability to set a custom logo onto the PDF that's printed out. You can browse through the uh, camera roll on the iPad and simply add an image there that you would like to appear on the PDF. So that's the iSimulate TMS, a very powerful system which is a new addition to Reality360.